Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix slow motion issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to, now if you're using Razer Synapse, in that case, you can turn on Razer Chroma for Final Fantasy 16 in the app. So you can, if you don't have Razer Synapse, you can install it. So open Razer Synapse and then you can go to the app and then go to the connect option. Now over here you can see Chroma apps turn this on and here you can see Final Fantasy 16. So make sure this is on over here and then you can launch the game you have to restart the game and then check and this has worked for uh, many players so it might work for you. So try this. Now the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have Nvidia card go to Nvidia website if you have AMD card go to AMD website I'm showing for Nvidia. So go to Nvidia website select product category for me it's GeForce now select the right product series so for me it's 30 series so make sure that you select your series and then select your graphic card now once you select your graphic card select the right operating system and then click on find and then you will see the latest driver so right now it's 561.09 and then click on view and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run this exe file and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 GB so I will calculate as per 16 GB so and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on OK and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now still not working. Then launch the game and disable frame generation. Lower down 
shadow quality and disable dynamic resolution and then check so go to the game and then select config over here and then go to graphics settings now scroll down and if dynamic resolution is on turn it off now scroll down and for upscaling you can upscaling you can set it to maybe quality uh, quality you can select quality or you can even select auto so i will select quality only now scroll down now if frame generation is on turn off frame generation and then scroll down and i will disable nvidia reflex low latency and then find shadow quality if this is set to high uh, you can set it to medium or you can even go for low quality now now you can save the settings and then check the performance so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the slow motion issue with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel